Hello guys, this is Imdad from Bangladesh. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, I am one of the certified engineers of Kodak. Uh, today I am going to show you the installation process of Kodak i1150 document scanners. So to start the installation, please insert the DVD into your DVD drive and go to my computer. Actually your computer. Okay, once the DVD is inserted, you will see the icon like this. And by clicking, by double clicking on it, the, your installation will start. Okay, once you double click it, uh, the installation window will pop up like this. And by clicking next, you can go further. Here is asking my installation type. Uh, I am going to um, go with the typical type of installation. So if you have any query regarding the advanced type of installation, you, you can email me uh, at mdad.devo uh, at gmail.com that's written below. Um, or you can comment in the video directly or you can directly visit my website uh, which is www.devobd.com. So please click next to proceed. Uh, here it shows the user license agreement whether you like it or not you have to click next well, the installation already started it will start by installing other drivers uh, that comes with it so now it's asking user account control so please click X to proceed okay and now it's preparing files for installation uh, and here it will install that twine driver the iss driver and the wire driver now it's installing uh, the very last driver that is iss driver okay don't forget to see the features or in the small lines uh, the scanner shows while installing in This is my very first video on YouTube and like I said, I'll be posting videos on Kodak scanners. Okay, let's get into that and continue with the installation. Yeah, you'll start that. Here in the window it shows uh, how to plug in your scanner um, uh, with the power connection and with the you know, with your computer so please follow the pictures and here it shows how to put your input tray the power connection and the USB connection with your scanner and computer uh, there is a LCD panel over your scanner and please click the start button to start your scanner if your scanner is plugged in then it will start and it will say light in the LCD panel and uh, now please click next uh, to continue you will see a grayish window uh, if anything goes wrong so in my case my USB cable is not connected so I'm going to connect it okay so it's connected the picture is, is lively so next to proceed think for a test paper for scanning okay I have already put my scan, uh, test paper and I'm clicking that. Okay, now uh, as the picture shows, please adjust your input and output tray. Uh, this is the input tray, and this one is the output tray. So please click next to proceed. Okay, and uh, don't forget uh, the mm, grammar of putting an input, uh, putting a paper into the Godax scanners, uh, like the backside front and the upside down. 
okay i have already put in that way so i'm going to click next okay next okay now the scanning should start yeah already started okay my test scan is done it shows the image okay now i'll click next so now here is asking the software that i'm going to use for scanning with kodak i1150 scanners uh, for now i'm going to use only smart touch so i'll click here okay here it shows uh, some small features of the kodak smart touch and the application is going to use okay uh, in my next videos i'll be posting in my, actually in my upcoming videos you will see kodak capture pro uh, tutorial on kodak capture pro software uh, if you so if you have any query regarding the capture pro software or emc captiva cloud software uh, cloud capture software so please uh, do contact me as i already said in my email or you can comment or you can directly um, visit my website so now please click next to proceed okay the installation is completed so click done and please click exit uh, to exit this window so if you find this useful please like the video and uh, please do subscribe if you like uh, kodak scanners of you or you want to get update uh, about the videos i'm going to post later so um, subscribing will notify you whenever i put any video on youtube so thank you for watching bye bye take care